All right, today we are looking at the Pelican 1600 case with foam black. This is in the beginnings of the large case category. Uh, below you got the 1560, which actually has got wheels and a pull handle. Below that in a briefcase style is the 1550. And then this is basically the largest case, briefcase style without wheels and handles um, in, in the briefcase style. So let's open this thing up and uh, take a look. All right, so as you can see, it's it's definitely briefcase style. It's big. It's definitely a large case compared to some of the uh, medium cases, but it's a it's a nice case. Um, if you don't need the wheels and handles, if you're transporting some things that are as heavy, and you don't need the extra bulk and uh, weight from the wheels and handles that you get on some of those other cases as you get larger from here. So um, let's, get, let's look at some of the outside features of the case. So you got the handle. It's a double overmolded handle, so it's nice and easy to grip, comfortable, lasts a long time. Um, and then you got two holes up front. These are uh, covered by stainless steel hardware. So this is for uh, padlocks and TSA locks of that matter. So you can, um, we actually have one, it's called the Pelican 1506 TSA. We'll link it below. Um, so it will fit on this and any other case for that matter. Um, and on this case, you actually got uh, one, two, three, four latches. So these are the Pelican double throw latches. These are the standard Pelican uh, latches um, on the classic side of the cases. Um, easy to open, easy to close, very secure. Let's open this thing up and check out the inside. All right, so right away you have this O-ring right here. So this is one of the most important pieces to these cases. This is where uh, it basically keeps these cases watertight and dustproof. So you always want to make sure that this is in place um, all the time and not um, corroded or anything like that. Now these are replaceable. So if you do have any issues with it, you can buy them separately and uh, replace it yourself. We'll also link the part to this um, below. Um, up front, you got the um, exhalation valve. So this is uh, what keeps these cases uh, um, decompressed. So if uh, you go into high altitude, it will release air, um, but it won't let any air or water into it. So it's an important feature to these cases and it's automatic too. So you don't have to do any um, turning or pushing or anything like that. So it'll just do it by itself. Uh, you also got this uh, nameplate up front. It's a re removable nameplate. So if you want to get it engraved, um, you could do that with the information that comes in each one of the cases. Nice little feature. So let's take a look at the foam. We got one, two pieces of the pick and pluck foam. This is the classic pick and pluck style foam. Makes it very easy to um, trace out the, the gear that you're putting in here and either pick it out or cut it out. So you got two pieces of that. It's about two inches thick, maybe an inch and a half on each one of them. At the bottom, you have a, a bottom piece of foam. Give you the extra protection, so if you do cut all the way through here, you got something at the bottom. And you have the A-crate style foam, which is also a nice thick piece of foam, keeping the top nice and protected. So all this foam is replaceable, so if you do need to um, you know, get new ones or have different applications so that you can switch it out easily with your gear, um, you can buy these separately as well. We'll link that below. Um, the interior dimensions on this thing, so you got 21 and a half inches in length, about 16 and a half inches in width, and about 8 inches in depth. Now, these cases, they taper as they go down, so the top's going to be a little bit wider, and as you get a little bit lower down, or down to the bottom, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit narrower, so it kind of just tapers down. So keep that in mind when you're measuring these things out. So, so that's it. That's the... Uh, that's the Pelican 1600 case with foam black. Again, it's uh, basically the largest briefcase style um, case that they make without the wheels and the pull handles. So again, it's a great case. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, we also have more specs on this case in the description. If you want to check out more case videos, please check out our channel. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.